And as more types of businesses continue to prepare to reopen in the future, when the state further eases its coronavirus-related shutdown orders, more of them are looking for information on how they can operate. Outside of some very rough guidelines about capacity, cleaning, and social distancing, the state has yet to establish those specific rules for many of the businesses that you folks at home are in. Dave McKinley is looking at that for us tonight. For a while longer, as it has been, restaurants are still takeout only. But eventually, the day will come when you will be able to dine in again. The question is, what will that experience be like as opposed to what you remember? You might expect it to be harder to get a reservation. There will likely be capacity limits of perhaps only 25 or 30 percent for indoor dining, and you won't be hearing your neighbors' conversations as well because the tables will be spaced and you won't see that friendly smile from your waitress as they will likely be masked. Uh, those are some of the steps taken in other states who are well ahead of New York in reopening. They're also among the measures local restaurateurs expect but don't know for sure. One told us today what they hear might be the rules keep changing. As they won't be permitted to seat patrons until phase three, they have some time, but others don't. How eager are you to get clear direction from the state? Desperate, almost. Batavia barber Greg Phillips says he's fully booked for when he expects to start cutting hair again in nine days. He's got an idea of how he'll be required to operate, but as far as specific rules from the state? We haven't been given the direction to, uh, to know what rules we have to follow to open. At Revolution Gym on Main Street in Buffalo, they still have no idea of when they could reopen. We don't have a date. And here again. Have you been given any clear direction from the state of this is what you must do? No. Business manager Kathleen Grancelli told us they are forging ahead with plans for limited capacity, social distancing, and more frequent sanitizing of equipment while surveying their members to find out their concerns. What would they feel most comfortable with us doing as far as cleaning, like what they'd like to see, if they want to see, you know, hand sanitizer, how many people do they want to see per class, um, if they'd like to see us wearing masks, if they want to wear masks. There's a lot of people are obviously itching to get back but safely. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.